If you run your Macintosh system in a shared environment, that means that on a single computer, there are multiple logins. If you have done a display calibration, you may want to share that ICC profile with the other users on the system. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. Starting with the past three or four version of Mac OS, Apple have been increasing the security on their system and also sandboxing. That means that they are allowing less third-party access to the system file itself and to modify any system files at the root level. So what this means is that when you run a display calibration, for instance, if you are running a hardware calibrated display such as the BenQ SW and using a program such as Palette Master Element, there is usually a setting on one of the screens before you go in and calibrate the profile and it would say profile distribution and there is a check mark for system level. What this technically is supposed to do is put the profile in the local user folder and also at the root level so that other users on the system can access this profile. As of the past few releases of macOS, this doesn't really do anything because there is a profile that gets put into the root. However, that profile is a much smaller profile and it is not even a real full profile. So this option no longer works. This would also apply for a software calibrate display also. So for instance, if you're using x i i1 profiler software or even i1 studio, at the very end screen before you generate the profile, there is a checkbox for profile distribution and many times you can check user level. However, again, this doesn't really do anything. So if you are running macOS in a multi-user environment, how would you then share the profile between all the other users on the system? Well, what I'm gonna do is show you how to do this manually. So what you want to do, first of all, is make sure that you log in under the user who have run the display calibration. In general, if you're in a large corporation, this would be the IT person or if you're in a school environment, this would also be the IT person who is running this or a manager in the department or something like that who would be doing these calibrations. What you would do then is go up to the Go menu, hold down the Option key and go to Library. This will pull up the Library folder, which is normally hidden. From there, what you would do is go into Color Sync Profile, and this is where all your display profiles are gonna be located. What you wanna do then is create a new window. You can line these up side by side. And what I would do is go into, for example, MacBook Pro, and I would go into the root hard drive and go into the root library folder. And in there, there is another Color Sync folder, Profiles, and inside here, there is a folder called display. So what I would simply do is come in here and you can either drag and drop it or copy and paste the profile in. So for instance, this is an SW270C and I have a lot of profiles that I've generated with this display, but let's say we're going to copy this one. I can simply drag it across and it will tell you that you need the administrator to authenticate the system. So I would simply click on authenticate I'll use Touch ID and now that profile is now distributed system wide. So anyone that logs into the system now can choose that profile from the system preferences display color menu. So that's the way how they would go in and check the profile. Again, this is applying for any user that log into the system because the profile is now at the root level. So I hope that you find this tip on distributing the profile on the Macintosh system helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified for great tips like this. And until next time, art is right.